Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to actually submit data into our database finally. So, using simple schema, using this quick form, we're now going to set some permissions and some rules, and we're going to dive in a little bit how you can make sure everything's working. So, let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in the last video, we had our auto form generated with quick form. Now we just need to get this working, right? If you remember, we removed ins and we removed auto publish. So to get started, let's get actually publishing our recipes. That way, when we do load them up, we'll actually have them working. Okay, so let's go to our publish.js that we created a long time ago that was blank. We can type meteor.publish and now we can say recipes. Now we're going to have a function and inside of this function, we're going to simply just return recipes.find. So we can say return recipes.find and now we're actually going to be asking for some things, right? We want this where the user ID is the author's user ID. So we're going to say only publish the recipes that the author is equal to this dot user ID. This way, uh, only the current user's recipes will be available to them. Okay, so we now have this published. So let's go ahead and head to our website now where we can actually sign in and create an account. I'm just gonna create a basic account here. Okay, so I have an account now, and I should be able to add a recipe, you'd think, right? Because we have our auto form, it's set to be inserting into the recipes collection. Now, what's a great way to know if your content's actually being published or not? Now, we wanna use a package called Meteor Toys. At the time of creating the first video, I had just gone through an update and there were some things weird about it, so I didn't have it in the initial list. So now what we wanna do is head to our packages file and let's go ahead and add a package called Meteor Toys. Now, Meteor Toys is a really sweet package to have. It has a whole bunch of extra features. In fact, Jet Setter is one of those features. We don't need Jet Setter anymore because we're going to be including it with Meteor Toys. Let's go ahead and just delete that jet setter package and on the bottom line here we can go ahead and add a package that's meteor toys as the package owner colon and then all things all things as the package name all things is all of the packages right uh, so it's more than just jet setter it's also mongo which is the one we're going to be using to check out our mongo database this is an extremely useful package and just make sure you check out your command line to make sure everything is here. So after we have Meteor Toys installed, what you can do is hit Control M and you're gonna see some tools pop up. This is really great. We have Jet Setter over here and Jet Setter is our session variables. It allows you to uh, look at and modify session variables. And Mongol over here allows you to look at and update and delete records in your database. So uh, keep in mind, these are only what's published. So we're publishing all of the current author's recipes. As you can see, there are none of them. But when we have this working, you should instantly see recipes being filled in here. I use this package on every website I use. So Meteor Toys is definitely something I would highly recommend. Okay, now let's try to add uh, a recipe here. So we can just say, uh, let's say ahi tuna uh, sushi. Okay, let's click submit. And if you'll notice, I'm not getting anything happening. But if you open your command line, you'll see an error class. And what we're getting here is an access denied error. And you maybe should be expecting that because we've removed the insecure package from our code, we no longer have a method that says insert, right? So what's a way that we can get around this? Well, a really nice way to get around this is to use the allow deny rules. And we can do that in our collections. So head to your recipe collections. And we're going to be adding to these rules as we uh, update our site here. But we can say recipes dot allow. And now this is going to be an object inside of here. And now the value 
Now the value that we need to worry about is insert. Okay, so this is going to be rules for who's allowed to insert into recipes. We can say recipes, and this is going to take a function. That function is going to take arguments of user ID and doc, of which we don't really need doc, uh, but we'll talk about it in remove. Now we can go ahead and have these brackets here like so, and what we want to return is return exclamation point, exclamation point, user ID. And now we finish this off with a semicolon. And so what this is saying is who can, who is allowed to insert into this recipes function? Well, you are allowed if this comes up true. And this comes up true if user ID exists. So if user ID exists, and that means you are signed in. That means you are able to add a recipe. Uh, for more complex uh, allow and deny, when we go to remove an item, we're going to want to make sure that the owner of that item is the one removing it. So we'll get into that more once we do that. Okay, so now that we've added that, we should be able to submit our form now. You notice we click submit here. However, we're still not getting any recipes in our Mongol. Let's check out our command line to make sure that there's no errors. Okay, because we don't see any errors, let's go ahead and open up a new tab here. I'm gonna leave the site running and I'm going to use, okay, so once we're in the root directory of our site, we can type Meteor Mongo. Now that's going to take us to a Mongo shell. If we type help here, we can get some different uh, commands that we can use. For instance, if we type show DBS, uh, it's gonna show us our databases. If we type show collections, it's gonna show us the collections of the current database. Since we're using the recipes database, right? Since we're using the correct database right now, you can see that recipes is there. We can say db.recipes find and this is going to ignore our publish rules because we're running this command from the Mongo uh, interface here and if we hit enter here you can see that our uh, ahi tuna was in fact saved into the database here so we have saved this correctly so even though it's not showing up on our site here under recipes uh, it is in fact saved into our database so let's go ahead and find out why it's not showing up. Well, if you remember, we published our recipes, but we never subscribed to them. So let's go ahead and just overall subscribe to our recipes on the front end code here. In our client folder in recipes, I'm gonna make a new file and it's simply just going to be recipes.js. Now, if you don't like having uh, several files named the same thing, you can certainly use a different naming convention. Um, I sort of like the folder to dictate what an actual file is, but uh, that's just me. Now from here, because this is already in the client side code, we can just simply type meteor.subscribe, and then we can say recipes like so, have a semicolon to finish it off with, head back to our site, and upon refresh, you should now see Mongo populated with your recipe. And if we were to add any more, let's go ahead and just do that. I'm gonna leave this on, but minimize it here. There we go. Let's just say um, salad, it's a salad. Um, okay, nothing crazy, we'll click submit. You can see this immediately increments to two. Okay, so we now have our auto form completing with the name and the description. This is so bare bones, but it's absolutely working. In the next video, we are going to take our simple schema and we're going to make it uh, quite a bit more interesting. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you feel like supporting Level Up Tutorials and our free tutorials, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and check out the merchandise we have there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.